According to Dr. Robert Melillo in his book, Disconnected Kids, autism is considered one of the most complex and hardest to understand childhood neurological disorders. So before we understand autism, we need to understand humans. Because if we understand humans better, we would see that the things that associate with autism are human things. Good morning and hello Thursday. Today's topic of discussion is understanding autism. So let's get into it. From my list of things that associate with autism from yesterday's story discussion. So autism is associated with science and research, development, brain, behavior, emotions, senses, communication, diet, body movements, and so many other things. One of these things are the main thing that we need to focus on, and that is the brain. So let's talk about the brain. So every human has a brain, and the function of the brain is to control every process that helps regulate our bodies. In childhood, as our brains develop, some of these processes underdevelop or overdevelop. And that is the best way that we can understand autism. And this looks different for every single person. Now, both our DNA and our environments impact the way that our brains develop. And this is a human thing. So no one can escape this. Now, when we look at autism, the way that your child's brain is functioning is their baseline. So this is their normal. And their brain functions different from other people's. And everyone's brain functions uniquely. However, if there are too many underdevelopments or too many overdevelopments, this can really affect a lot of different things. And we see these things by differences in behaviors. And behaviors are only telling us one little piece of the story of what is going on with our brains. Autism parents, I'm going to leave you with this. Because autism is considered the most complex and hardest to understand childhood neurological disorders, you need a support system to help you on this journey because you are not meant to do it alone.